En compagnie de Greg Norman, l'année dernière, nous avions eu une conversation et on était sur le point d'annoncer une nouveauté. Il a fallu presque un an pour développer cette nouveauté. C'est maintenant chose faite. Vous l'avez annoncé aujourd'hui. So how was it today, that final announcement? Well, it's really been four and a half years in the making. Um, last year, when we spoke about it, uh, we, I really told you something was coming down, yeah. but I couldn't really tell you what was coming down. And so today, it's uh, been a, you know, a fulfilling moment because I partnered up with the, uh, a, a massive telecommunication company in Verizon. I partnered up with the creme de, de, creme, de la creme of um, Golf Car Manufacturing Club Car, and we're delivering a connected device to the golfers to enhance their player experience and um, people have been crying out for this for a long long period of time it was virgin space that we recognized uh, we wrote a business model around it we executed on the business model and now it's going live and uh, it is live and manufacturing fleet uh, we put we're financing a screen on every golf car that comes out of club car uh, first of february And that's 50,000 a year, so we're going to connect the golf world. Will it be avail uh, available only in the United States first? No? No, no it, it, it'll be available worldwide. Okay. United States, yes. Uh, we have a meeting. Canada? On, yeah, it's, it's gonna, it'll get to Canada. Mm -hmm. it'll, get, it'll get around the world. Um, right now, we're started in the United States mm -hmm. for this year. Um, by the end of this year, hopefully, we'll have a global platform in place to move it into Canada, because I know the Canadian market will be crying out mm -hmm. for it, um, just as much as the Mexican market, Central American, American market, and the Australian market, European market. So uh, we definitely have um, uh, the business plan in place to move it out on a global platform. Tell me, what will, it, uh, what will be the main benefit for the amateur player, the, the weekend players with that new technology idea? Well, we're going to put Bluetooth, we're putting speakers in the roof. Um, we've got Bluetooth capabilities, so you can take your music from your phone. You can have live streaming sports, music, news, entertainment. Whatever your choice is, you can go put it into that screen. Um, it's, it's, each golf cart's going to be connected to another golf cart. So if you and I are playing and I'm playing the first hole, you're playing the third hole, I can see what you're doing, you can see what I'm doing. We can have a little competition between each other. So it's nothing different than what you can do on your phone device, mm -hmm. right? Whether it's Android or an iOS, it's, gonna, it's a software platform that will continually be upgraded. It's not a hardware deal. It's not like bending metal. So it can, every, every input we get, positive or negative, we'll be able to make that adjustment within the screen. Tell me one thing. Do you think that to a certain degree, this could apply to professional players for tournaments? Um, look, who knows where it can go, right? Who knows? Um, right now, I think from a, a device aspect, I think what we want to do is make sure that we have a way of attracting millennials to the game, but also keeping the millennials once they get there, right? And I think we have that capabilities, because if you look at the millennials today, they are very good at multitasking on their devices, right? They can do three or four different things and within a four or five second time period. And very quickly. Yeah, exactly. So if they want to do it, let them do it. Whatever they want, let them have what they want. It's your game, your way. Mm -hmm. So you can have as much as you want or as little as you want. That's it, your game, your way. That's basically, let's have fun again playing that game, right? Well, right, I think we should. I think golf has been stuck in a box for a long, long period of time. <clears throat> and we really, there's been technology through hard goods There's been technology through soft goods and clothing and materials, but there hasn't been technology through connectivity. And when you have that connectivity capabilities, you can push anything to that individual that that individual wants. Would you say to a certain point that we were maybe a little too conservative? I don't think the technology was there. Yep, right. Right? Um, so fortunately for me, I was lucky enough to identify it and lucky enough to execute on it. And quite honestly, the people who are the luckiest will be the golfers who play it and use it and the experience that they'll get out of it. But the number one important thing is the operators, the golf course owners, will have a rev share. And today, when you can think about giving money back to the operator and allowing them to share in this technology uptick, 
That to me is the number one priority.